So the Rolling Bounty is back off to... It's already up to a good start. It's already over... What? 300? Dude, how's that possible? Wait. Yes. 300. Is that... Wait, is that right? Oh. So right now, the Bounty. 2018 certified box. 10 Black Friday packs that I'll random off. And then, why not? Just a nice little $100 schnooget of the Prism Fast Break Basketball. Why not? So now we're at two hobby boxes, or two boxes, and 10 of those packs already. That's the bounty. Let's do it. So you got 2018 Rookies and Stars, seven box half case break number 25. We're gonna do number 26 right after this, and we're gonna shut her down for the weekend. But I do appreciate you guys being here. Uh-oh, Big Red 99 transition. <laughs> because he transitioned to wine. Is that bad? I uh, no, it's not. As long as hey, you gotta do what feel a wise man once told me. Do what feels right, Big Red. Alright? As long as it's not an autumnal mead or whatever it is. You'll be good. You'll be good. Alright, so we got number 25 and. Oh boy. Let's do it. We got the seven on top. You pull any Tatums from that tree out in the back? <laughs> the, hey, the way that my office is stacked up, there could be a Tatum in there. There could be. I'm just saying. Now, dude, the bounty, the rolling bounty is getting big again. Here's Blake Bortles, a.k.a. Cody Kessler, out of 10. And 46 out of 49, you got Adam Thielen. So we're looking for the Black Crusade. Now, we just hit one yesterday, 31 out of 85, nice little Saquon. Going over to Iceman. And a Peyton Manning patch. Now it's over to Denver. Woody, 311. There you go, buddy. That's out of 25. And the Gronk out of 99. You guys are can't get it. Yeah, all right. Well, that makes sense. Here's out of 75, Shaquem Griffin. And... Kalen Balaj. Uh oh, we're back on that 101 train over here. 95 out of 99. Kalen Balaj in that baby nugget. Rivers. Going over to them Chargers. So, Santiago. Jur. There you go, buddy. And out of 49, Kazir White. So, the 101 train is back. Dude, Popeye, are we back to the old rookies and stars where we were pulling seven, eight, one of ones? Out of a case? Are we back on that? What? Oh, a black, yeah, a black Saquon 101 Crusade? Sure. You guys made out like bandits that were in that, that, uh, the break where we hit the bounty. Like bandits. Here's Ronnie Harrison, one out of five. George Bush passed away today? Is that a real thing? Ooh, give me some of that gold. Out of 10, Roquan Smith. Then you got the team duels of Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb. So nothing like a Saturday night, or no, wait, Friday night Chubb. Aaron Rodgers out of 99, Crusade. And touchdown club out of 49, Carson Wentz. Somehow, Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz asking, like, like if, if the, if the touchdown club this year for Carson Wentz, he didn't get in. Like, he's still standing at the line. The bouncer's staring at him, just like straight face. He's got a clipboard, and he's like, nah, man, sorry, dude, you're not on the list. He'll be back. 
It'll be back. Here's a day, Sean Hamilton, 88 out of 99. And out of 25, Jamal Moore. Then you got a jump. Oh, I see some gold back there. John Elway over to them brunt shows again, which would be out of 99. And a Todd Gurley gold. Six out of 10, Todd Gurley. All right, plugging away. Dude, the bounty's already over three. How is the bounty already over 350 bucks or 300 bucks? How's that possible? Who's the, who's the guy that runs this joint? He's irresponsible. I'm just joking. I like hanging out with you guys. Six out of ten, Calvin Benjamin. Go blue with the stat of the day right there. Uh-oh, another Roquan. Roquan Super Collector. Yeti, 815. Got a whole boatload, a gaggle of uh, Roquan Smith. Uh, <laughs> JJ Watt, and that's over to the Texans at a 49. And then, you have to pardon me that I won't say the name. There's Zeke, and Zeke and the Cowboys, are they back? Go Blue with the stat of the day saying the Eagles have only scored over 23 points once this year. Not a good stat for the Eagles. One out of 99, Jamal Moore. And then at a 49, Anthony Miller. Oh, I see more gold. Now we're getting into the gold stuff. I'm getting nervous, man, with these Crusades. Out of 99, Robbie Anderson and Shaquem Griffin. Gold action. Two out of 10, Shaquem. He's got Seattle. Right, guy. There you go, buddy. So appreciate you all hanging out, dude. We're, hey, Kraken's the rookies and stars. We're getting back on the rolling bounty train. Yes, yes. I love it whenever the Cowboys are getting back in the mix. Philly will score 50 on Monday? Come on. Because <laughs> that's Bry Guy's team. Ew. All right. From the old Cincinnati Bengals down there. My ball cards. Loving on the Bungletons. When do they going to get rid of Andy Dalton? Bring somebody in for the love of Pete. All right. Five out of 25, Naheem Hines. The league is shifting to an all-passing league. Andy Dalton likes to take little baby naps instead of passing. So can we get somebody for the Bungletons that doesn't get beat by the Browns? Oh, I'm so sorry. My ball cards, I know that's still fresh. I apologize. 73 out of 85, Josh Allen. Whatever you do, Iceman, don't Google that. Here, uh, 9 out of 49, Bradley Chubb. <laughs> oh, that's right. It is Driscoll right now, isn't it? Seven out of, or 17 out of 25. That'd be Rashad Penny. And then out of 49, Marcus Davenport. I told you I apologized immediately, my ball cards. All right, so Josh Allen going over to Buffalo, and there's ODB out of 99. I know, I know, TCU, go easy on Andy Dalton. Uh, Go Blue. Go Blue. Are we going to a Colts game this year? God, I feel like I'm... Dude, Lev Bell wants to go to Indy, but you know damn well it ain't going to happen. Sorry, Lev Bell. You ain't going to Indy. You know, Indy doesn't need a little diva in there running around. Trying to run around. Here's Deshaun Hamilton at 75. Indy doesn't want Bell. No. They want to build through the draft, man. I respect it. Because the second that you start opening up these contracts to get these players, to get these vet players, like, God, I mean, Des, I mean, I'm just saying, like, Des Bryant, 
okay? Because that gets hurt the first day of practice. You know, now granted, they didn't probably didn't lose much on that deal. I don't even know. I forget which team he went to. Was it New Orleans? Whatever. But I'm just saying, don't chase those big vet players, those huge vet contracts, people looking to maximize their money. Because number one, their drive goes down whenever they get paid. All right? You got to keep that drive up. But then whenever you whenever you start to pay somebody way too much money, that isn't... I mean, quarterbacks I can completely understand, yes. But what it does is it limits on what you can build around you know, that, that quarterback. So like Andy Luck and the Colts, they don't want to go out and chase this huge contract you know, for, to bring in a receiver, even though they need receivers. They don't want to chase it. They'd rather bring somebody in through the draft, get them on that rookie contract, and then you're still going to have money to build what's important, which is an offensive line. So I'm just saying, you go out and you chase those big contracts and those high-value players that have established themselves in the league, which is great. But at the same time, you're diminishing the value of your team and what you can build around your quarterback, which is the most important person. So that's why that's why the Colts will not take Le'Veon Bell. And here is a dress for success prime, Baker Mayfield. And that's going to be the prime, though. That's not a 25, boy. Uh, then that 17 out of 25, Aaron Donald. So that shake and bake going over to my ball cards. That's out of 25, though, boy. Go blue. Let's get to a game, man. Oh, the Dallas. Yes, the Dallas game. I, I know, the Dallas game. I'll tell you what. KC, they might be in a little bit of a pinch. Get Lev over there, right? Is Lev even allowed to play this year or no? Here's out of 10, Blake Bortles. Let's get Pop. All right, let's get Popeye. Let's get Go Blue. We'll get the crew back together. Maybe JL, I don't know where JL Friend's at. If JL Friend can make it out to the game, Let's get, let's get out to the Dallas game. I got a guy that knows a guy that might know a guy that might have some tickets for the game. Meaning my brother. So 1 out of 10, Andy Luck. He's got a couple seats. Yes, email me. Yes, please do. I'd love to come out for that Dallas game. Absolutely. 23 out of 25, a Traquan Smith. Yeah, Lev can't play this year. I mean... Was it that important? Now I and so you guys give me your take on this. Do you think that Lev Bell made that big of a statement this year that it was worth losing what like eight million dollars? Eight million like that's life changing money for like a village, like not even a village, multiple village, like a a ton of people. All right. So do you think he made as big of an impact this year? Um, you know or. Do you think he made a statement that will be impactful moving forward for running backs, for players, those kind of things? Do you think Lev Bell did the right thing? Go Blue's got four. Hey, now. Go Blue's got four ticks? I don't think Lev Bell made an impact this year. I really don't. I don't think he made an impact on it. 85. I don't think social... I mean... Obviously, NFL Network, those nerds over there, NFL Network, uh, picked up and did the Lev Bell countdown until he does nothing. And then they did the aftermath of Lev Bell and all kinds of dumb stuff. Here's a really nice Calvin Ridley, 1 out of 25, going to Atlanta. Who's got hot Atlanta? Go Blue, 78. And then at a 25, a Kenyon Drake. Yeah. I just think that there was too much other stuff going on in the league um, this year. There's too many other things, uh, important things, like people actually playing football that really kind of overshadowed what Lev Bell was trying to accomplish. And he was trying to reach such a small audience, meaning he was trying to reach the other players in the league. And I don't know how many other players in the league are going to be like, you know what? I'm going to give up $8 million for this. I'm going to give up $13 million or whatever it is. And then I'm going to be a liability at the next team that I go to. 
and I'm going to get turned away by teams because they don't want the negative publicity. Did you do what you wanted to do, Lev Bell? I don't know. I don't, I just, yeah, I don't, I just don't know if I agree with it. Now, and, and that's me, that's an outsider looking in. So I don't know all the ins and outs about that stuff, but yeah, out of 49, I'll tell you what, are people buying Lev Bell jerseys? No, they're buying James Conner jerseys. Are they, buy, you know, I mean, if somebody had the option, Steelers fan had the option, this year, did they buy a Lev Bell jersey? No, they didn't. Here's a Hayden Hurst at a 75. They bought James Conner. They bought the person that stepped up and started to support their team and made a difference and an impact on their team. So I don't know. No, I don't think it I don't think it was I don't think it was Bell's objective either. But I mean from the general media and whenever you you're you're looking at everybody there. I mean tell tell me tell me your thoughts though, other other Kev. Tell me. I want to hear it. Because like I said, I'm an outsider looking in. I'm a novice at best of what's going on with that. And I don't know all the ins and outs. So please enlighten me. I want to hear it. Here's Ido Smith, 52 out of 99. And a Kazir White out of 49. Uh, you have tickets for the OSU game tomorrow, Brian. Where do you want to go? Uh, go Blue, is that, at, uh, is that out in Indy? Here's Sony Michelle. And Zach Ertz out of 99. So that will be half case number 25. We got number 26 coming up. Dude, hey, James Conner's story is amazing. That guy is such a nice dude, too. I think we sat down with James. I need to go back and look at all the videos. I feel like sometimes I may even take it for granted of all the people that we get to sit down with. So, other other Kev chiming in here, too. 